Hello, everyone, and welcome to Angel Healing House, and welcome to Walk In Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom for the upcoming week of May 1st through May 7th, 2022. Can you believe it's already May? My name is Claire Candy Hoff, and my name is also Angel Ariel, as I had an angelic walk-in experience on January 11th of 2003. I'd like to welcome back my loyal subscribers, my followers. It's lovely to be in your energies again, and thank you so very much for liking and sharing and subscribing to these videos and my channel. And if you have found the Claire Candy Hoff YouTube channel for the very first time, let me share a little bit about myself through my full-time business, Angel Healing House, which I created in 2003. I am a Reiki master teacher, having taught hundreds and hundreds of Reiki practitioners and master teachers around the world, either online or through my beautiful business here in Santa Monica, California. I'm an intuitive clairvoyant psychic tarot card reader. Um, I'm an intuitive counselor. Um, I do past life clearings and ancestral healings. I also help people to connect with energetically with their twin flame, whether their twin flame is on the earth plane or across the veil, because they can help us so much with clarity and direction. And those that have their twin flames across the veil and they connect with them, they can actually help them find a beautiful love here on the earth plane. I'm also the author of several number one Amazon international best-selling books. And so if you want to find out more about my services or my award-winning books, please do visit Angel Healing House at angelhealinghouse.com or phone 831-277-3716 and that's Pacific Standard Time as we are here in California. Now, I'd like to send a big thank you to all of those people who have made donations to my PayPal account for my free weekly content. If you would like to donate to my PayPal account, please, I have left the um, information, the PayPal link in the description box down below. So let's start as we do every week by looking into the astrological heavens to see what planetary influences will be affecting all of us. Now, a few days ago, actually it was about 10 days ago now, on April the 19th, we entered the sign of Taurus. Taurus's energies have us slowing down after Aries season fired up our creativity and brought in brand new ideas. And with Taurus being such a nurturing sign, very down to earth and grounded, its energies will have us focusing on one or more of those ideas that we wish to nurture and take solely from the realm of thought and bring it into tangible physical manifestation. Because of Taurus's organized, methodical attention to details, it'll help us to make room in our schedules to commit to actually making an effort for those seeds of ideas to grow and blossom fully into the physical. Now, there's a caution with Taurus energies that with the bull liking to take his sweet time, bulls hate, they hate to be rushed into anything. The caution here is that we don't allow ourselves to get stuck and resistant to change after coming out of the sparkling, igniting fire energies of airy season. It's suggesting that if we change, um, that, that if change does appear in our lives, please stay in the present moment so that we can prioritize and stay in our intuitive flow. Otherwise, we could get completely overwhelmed when change starts to manifest for us. And that's exactly what's going to happen in this upcoming eclipse season. Now, this is especially true for those of us who have been quiet for a long time, as it seemed like nothing much of anything was happening for us. My angelic family, who I am part of, we are called the Posse of Angels, they are telling me that if we could only see 
the incredible number of synchronicities and miraculous connections that and opportunist, opportunistic events, they added, that the angels put together to bring about the fulfillment of our wishes, we would be absolutely astounded and gobsmacked. Now, today, on April 29th, we have the first planet in 2022 to go retrograde, which is Pluto. And Pluto is the planet of transformation, renewal and change. And with it being retrograde, it's giving us a reflective time before we have a rebirth. It represents endings and beginnings in order for us to reinvent ourselves, reinvent uh, how we appear, our appearance, reinvent our jobs, reinvent where we live, reinvent our relationships. All these things will come about as a result of this reinvention or rebirth of ourselves during uh, and bringing these things up during eclipse seasons. Now, tomorrow we have the start of eclipse season with the Taurus new moon eclipse on April 30th. And the, and the following eclipse after that is two weeks away, which is the May 15th um, eclipse, uh, and that one is in Scorpio. But with this new moon being in Taurus and the eclipse, it has us focusing on things like our security, our safety, our foundations, and especially in the areas of money, careers, and relationships. Added to this new moon's energies is the wild card of the eclipse that shakes things up in our worlds, which has us expecting the unexpected. But with this new moon eclipse conjunct Uranus, we not only can expect the unexpected, but the lovely aligned Venus-Jupiter conjunction promises that what will happen will be very positive, quite wonderful in these unexpected developments. Now, there are some who say that this eclipse is mirroring something that we created or brought forth in 2004 and will have the same energies around it. Take some time out. This is a wonderful exercise, especially now before the new eclipse, uh, be before the, um, the, the eclipse on April 30th. Take some time out to think about where you were in 2004 and what you were doing. I'd married my beloved twin flame, Pete, on uh, November 15th of 2003, and I moved myself and my healing practice, Angel Healing House Healing Practice, from the Gold Coast uh, in Queensland, Australia, two and a half hours north to the Sunshine Coast. And I basically had to reestablish my business. And in 2004, it caught on wildfire. I was so busy. I, I, was, I used to say to Pete, I, I should put a revolving door <laughs> in our house because of all the people that were coming and going for meditation nights and learning Reiki and Reiki share days and workshops and seminars and healing sessions and intuitive counseling and angel card readings, you name it. Um, and also um, I was doing advertising and presentation opportunities that were brought to me. Um, so think about it. Think about what you created perhaps and where you were in 2004. This eclipse is bringing in those same kaboom energies. Solar eclipses always happen at a new moon and with this one being a north node eclipse, it is connected with the future. Something new comes up and changes the trajectory of our destiny. Yes, eclipses can push us out of our comfort zone, but if we re are really ready to seize those changes, they are life-changing as we can now create nothing less than new 
karma. Something about our life purpose, about what we were truly destined to do in this lifetime, which is represented by the North Node, will be suddenly revealed to us. And that energy is the energy of Uranus. And while this eclipse will be about new beginnings, new opportunities, making improvements and moving forward, it finally feels to so many of us like all the hard work that we've done will finally be rewarded. The first eclipse of the year is going to flood the planet with lots of Pleiadian energies, and it will activate and unlock higher timelines to better align with our future destiny. In my previous Angel Healing House Blog Talk Radio programs, and by the way, Angel Healing House Blog Talk Radio is now in its 11th year of giving intuitive counseling and free mini angel readings and bringing forth channeled information on that uh, radio program. But I've spoken about our dharmic path, and because we have changed so much, the way in which we will now be serving will be in a much higher way. Now, this solar eclipse will bring many revelations, unexpected opportunities, changes to our material possessions, things like our finances, security, and comfort. Many in the conscious collective will see changes in their surroundings. I mentioned before, moving homes, moving to a new state, a new city. In some instances, you might be moving overseas to new countries, The movement will come as we are leaving jobs, moving to new careers, and with these moves, we will joyously be embracing new connections, new family, new friends, getting used to new cultures and new lifestyles. The Posse of Angels is saying that this will feel like an immensely lucky time as these changes and moves bring in greater expansion and growth, and for some, even fame, even recognition and validation as they step into their destiny. Many have waited lifetimes for what will be brought in during this eclipse season. Now, with eclipses bringing in opportunities and abundance, do remember that abundance can come in many forms. We can have an abundance of health, an abundance of security, self-worth, an abundance of just the right connections and, um, uh, and, and opportunities coming in for us. Increasing the energies of abundance at this time is a harmonious Jupiter and Venus alignment. It feels delicious and it's greatly expanding and adding to the gift-giving expansive eclipse energies. What a fortuitous time. And when I asked my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, for more messages, they directed me to this beautiful deck, the Oracle of Mystical Moments. And this is the card that came out. And it's called Moon Dance. And look at this lovely lady. And she's tiptoeing across a tightrope. And it's a number four card. When this moon card flew out and the words associated with this card are daring, balance, easiness, and adventure. This girl is balancing on a rope and waltzing with the moon. She's dancing through life. To be this confident is a gift and we should be aware and treasure it. The awareness and the gift comes from being ourselves and shining our light in whatever way we excitedly and passionately want to create and bring that forth. The message on this card is be brave and be adventurous. Get out of your comfort zone and see life from a different perspective. If we maintain a balance between levity, being serious about our lives, and also light-hearted, then we can balance on a new path of adventure. You can stay above the everyday noise that threatens to bring us down if we allow ourselves to feel, to feel the night breeze in our hairs 
in our hair, and adventure in our souls. And to venture forth when those things are eclipsed into our lives, bringing us new information on how to serve, where to live, and what direction to go in. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Posse of Angels, for that first Oracle card. Next, they directed me towards one of my absolutely favorite decks, is the Fairies Oracle, and that's by lovely Brian Froud. And um, the ne this card that came out was number three, and it's called The Guardian at the Gate. When the Guardian at the Gate appears, our spirit guides and our angels wish to tell us um, to facilitate doors opening for us. That's what they're doing at the moment. That's why we'd be, we would be gobsmacked and astounded if we could p possibly see the connections and the opportunistic events that they organize for us to fulfill our heart's desires. Now, this is a great sign, guardian at the gates, and it indicates that a passage is being made to a new beginning of something, something that is destined, something that is faded in our lives, and that is what eclipses are all about, those new openings and new opportunities. Passing through this gate always leads to an adventure. How many times did the word adventure come up? Well, it came up in these last two cards, um, and it leads to an adventure, and it leads to significant changes in our world. Now, going through this gate is going to be no small thing because it's something of such a divine order as we are embarking on a new destined phase of our lives. And that's the guardian at the gate. And I love that it's the number three because the number three not only is the number of creation, but it's the number of miracles. So thank you so much, Brian Froud's Fairies Oracles, for coming in and helping us. Next one comes from Colette Baron reads Animal Oracle Spirit Cards. Lovely cards there. And what flew out of the deck, I know, it just literally flew out of the deck, was this one, Antelope Spirit. It's a number two, and life is is speeding up. The flow and the connectedness of the cards are massive with this card, Antelope, Spirit, and Life Speeding Up. Now, the Posse of Angels is imploring us that it's time to get moving and to take action to make our dreams real. And they are adding, what will happen and what will manifest as a result of these eclipses will show us how many people have asked, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, but I don't know how to step forward. I don't even know in what direction to step forward. Well, that's what these eclipses bring in. They bring in information and they bring in those that will communicate to us how to step forward and take inspired action through new, new connections, new opportunities that will be offered to us. And of course, you know, we have the free will to say no, but for the price of being bold and being daring, just like our moon dance lady who's brave and bold, for the price of that, who would choose to turn down miracles that lead to the fulfillment of our heart's desires? I know when they come knocking on my door that I will say yes, yes, yes. Now, the Posse of Angels are strongly suggesting to take advantage of these massive energies that are available to all of us, and that now is the time to step up. And two is also the number of partnering, of coming together, of relationships, of connections, of collaborations, of working together, all of those things. So thank you, Miss Oh, they're saying that it's a miss, that this is a Miss Antelope for coming in. Thank you, Miss Antelope. And I was going to leave it there. I was going to be very happy to go on to our postcards from Spirit, but no, no. Today, the Posse of Angels said, no, we want you to go to this deck. And I said, okay, this is the Green Witch Oracle. 
And there were three very important reasons as to why they had me go to the Greenwich Oracle. The first one is the P, not P-E-E, -E, but P-E-A card came out. And this is the card of communication. It's a number two card. Hello, another number two card. Collaborating, connecting with our soul families. Now, the first card, the number two, is the communication card and conveys that it's now time to move ahead with project plans and ideas, but only if we're willing to listen to what could be an alternative to the job, career that we're doing now, an alternative to where we live or what we're doing. Uh, with this card emphasizing the sharing of ideas, concepts, gathering of new information, it has an underlying excitable energy within it. Um, it ignites our passion. The caution here is don't rush into anything, but just because we've been quiet for a long time, but savor, savor the information, savor the communication, and allow our intuition to then direct us. Now, this communication could be an email, it could be a phone call, um, it could be snail mail, um, it could be lots of different things. Uh, uh, somebody connecting with us to want to give us a, an offer, uh, a business opportunity, a new job offer, a career, or to work and collaborate with a project, or they like what we're doing and they want to incorporate that in their uh, group, community, or their business. So this is a very, very fortuitous time that the communication card came up. So they're saying, but wait, there's more. Okay, so this card is connected to this card. And this card is not only two, but it's two eight. It's 28. Right on the heels of the P card comes in orange. Zesty energy of the number 28, which is a one. And out of this partnership will come that one new beginning that one new project that will just be so heartwarming for us to serve the divine inside of us and then to serve humanity. That's the way it works. With the orange card coming out, this heralds that this communication, this P communication that's coming in, will open doors for rapid, rapid, where is she? Miss Antelope will come in with rapid progress and start us on a brand new adventure <laughs> that is specifically anchored to our true purpose, our destiny, pointing us in the right direction. This is a tangy, reviving, reinventing energy here that anything now is possible. But wait, there's more. Communication then leads to this zesty new energy. And what do we have? Three? We had the two, and then we had the 28, and now we have the two four. That two is in all of these cards. Thirdly, strawberry comes out, and this is the card of agreements. With this new communication that's coming in for us, coupled with this new, renewed, zesty, tangy, passionate energy, many of us will be signing agreements to offers or contracts to collaborate and work with others, which will provide a boost in our lives in so many areas. Group work, connection with others, partnering with like-minded individuals are greatly highlighted in the month of May, where my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, is assuring us that the sum of the parts will become much greater than the whole. And with the words of offerings, luck, attraction, and success being associated with strawberry, it is indeed a fortuitous time to join with others for the betterment of this new era of light on planet Earth. Oh, I just got shivers all over. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for these eclipses and to see what's going to come in as a result of this. 
To finish off as we do every week, let's go with postcards from Spirit. And this one came out. And on the front, it says, with love, dearest you, we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you wish to create it. Now, what did I say about reinvention, a rebirth, something that's karmic, something that destined and fated for us to now reinvent ourselves into? Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge wells within us, up and inside of us, it comes from this primal place? That's because we've changed so much and that's why we are going to be changing so much about who we are and what we do. The form of what you are, uh, of what you are growing has yet to take shape and it's exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. You know, it's normal to feel both push and pull back when entering any kind of new relationship, especially a new relationship with yourself. I mean, that can be pretty scary. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that this new version of life, well, it's time for it to take shape through you and on behalf of your partner in life, which is spirit your spirit guides, and your angels. You have made it. Congratulations. You have made it to this new level of awakening and contributing. And we are so excited to see where this will take you next. We are so proud of you. Yes, and you should be very proud of yourself. Where you are going to be stepping into? Let's go and make some magic making magic cards to finish off with. How have each and every one of you been? I hope you've been well. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, please put them down below and, uh, and tell me what you've been experiencing. Um, a couple of days ago, I must tell you, um, uh, Pete and I being tw twin flames, we seem to experience um, the same thing at the same time, except he's always, it seems to be a day before, a day or two before me. So a day or two, um, about three or four days ago, he was feeling a little bit, little bit off um, as, uh, you know, and it was energetically, um, just like, you know, all the stuffing had been taken out of him and had a sort of a, a very down, quiet day. And I was up and I was peppy and... <laughs> You know, full of zest, and as I normally, um, I, I normally am. And then it hit me um, on Thursday, and it was just, oh, it felt like a, a pillow, and all the stuffing had come out of me. And so I had a pretty quiet down day. And next day, I was, I was back and raring to go. So um, those of us who are sensitives and empaths and intuitives. Uh, we pick up energies, so we pick up the moon's energies a couple of days before. You know, we pick up eclipses, all of these things, and we're very, we're very uh, um, in tuned to these energies. So you might be feeling a little bit off kilter, especially, especially with the moon cycles, but more so with this intense eclipse energies. Okay, posse of angels, jump, 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 jump. Otherwise, I'll just pick three. Okay, all right. True healing of the mind, the body, and the soul. Uh, and what they want us to know about this card is, yes, we've done a tremendous amount of healing, but with the eclipse energies coming in, it will, and with the reinvention of ourselves, um, these higher dimensional frequencies, and I did mention in my um, Angel Healing House Blog Talk radio show, which is every Thursday at 10 a.m., Pacific Standard Time every week. Um, I did mention uh, that uh, we are um, integrating more high um, galactic energies, and it is actually reversing because their cells are retaining so much light now 
so much more light, it is reversing, reversing the aging process. Um, people are, are, are seeing this in their physical um, appearances. Our light bodies are taking on more light, and when we take on more light, our cells are oxygenated, and it reverses dis-ease in the body. So there will be great... Oh, the light just came on. More, <laughs> more light, <laughs> um, um, more, more healing will be going on as a result of the eclipses. Thank you, Posse of Angels. One more. Oh, okay, we'll take those three. And they came out in this order. The sun, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. There we go. There is going to be an illumination. Now, some people say there's going to be a solar flash. Who knows? I don't ever, you know, hang a hook on uh, on timelines as to when that's going to happen. But all I can tell you is the more you shine your authenticity out into the world with enthusiasm and passion and create, 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 it's amazing how uh, opportunities and connections and you light up the world. So... The sun card is coming in to remind us. The next card is protection. Strong protective magic for your family and your friends. And um, and uh, there'd be a great time during the eclipse season um, to uh, clear, clear your home, sage it, clear our bodies by taking salt baths, um, clear out the clutter, you know, anytime we move the furniture around, you know, all those feng shui things to do to create space for the new to come in. And that includes, you know, all those protection uh, rituals that we do or that we're mindful about um, and to maybe revamp them. And safe and happy travels, protection from harm when journeying. Many of us are going to be traveling. Many of us are going to be moving and we're going to you know be told you have that connect you have that opportunity that's the good news the not so good news is you have to start in 3 weeks <laughs> move your house change your mailing address and up and out you will go and um, it's a very exciting time so i would love to know how the eclipses will be affecting you and um, and you can always you can always uh, send me an email through my website which is angel healinghouse.com um, and to uh, book my services you can go uh, you can phone 831-277-3716 and again that's pacific standard time so um, and also you can find out all my information on my website which is angelhealinghouse.com go out everyone and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself do remember to uh, listen in to Angel Healing House Blog Talk Radio every week on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, where I bring forth channeled messages from my family, the Posse of Angels, and um, and then I take calls for free mini angel readings. And in 11 and a half years now, I have given away thousands upon thousands of intuitive counseling and channeled messages. So I hope to hear from you soon. And I'm sending you love and as always, angel blessings. And go out and just make it a magical week. Take care, everyone. Bye.